Our topic for today is called the uh, mechanical vapor compression refrigeration system. Mechanical vapor compression refrigeration system or uh, cycle. So uh, first, as an uh, introdu introduction, we will uh, define first what is refrigeration. So uh, refrigeration is, you know, you have a refrigerator in your house and uh, it has uh, for a cold storage application like for our food, for uh, meat, vegetables and other uh, food that we preserve okay uh, so what is uh, really the definition of refrigeration? So, refrigeration uh, it is the uh, withdrawal of the heat withdrawal of the heat producing uh, in a substance or within a space lower than that of the uh, natural surroundings So, withdraw it is a withdrawal of it producing a substance or within a space a temperature lower than that of the surroundings. So, given a space, you have its temperature lower than its surroundings. or in lemon's term lower than the uh, ambient temperature or the natural surrounding temperature so because we know in our heat transfer uh, there is always uh, the direction of uh, heat the direction of heat is uh, from high temperature to low temperature so that's the norm So therefore we can say that uh, you know, any, mo any methods involving the uh, lowering of temperature involves refrigeration. So if there is a lowering of temperature, there is refrigeration of course, given the temperature of the ambient and given the temperature of space so for example we have a space here so you have a temperature of your, of your space that is uh, T uh, 
S and given its surrounding temperature we call that the, uh, the T ambient or the temperature or the ambient temperature so if uh, the temperature TS is uh, lower than that of the lower than that or lesser than that of the t uh, ambient temperature so that is the, the condition so uh, if we are uh, going to analyze this uh, uh, thing the temperature of, s of your space is lower than the temperature of the surroundings so the norm as you can say if you have the uh, if you have the high temperature reservoir so it is uh, and you have the low temperature reservoir so usually the uh, uh, if you have a higher temperature it will uh, it will as time as the duration of time it will equal as the temperature uh, the high temperature will be equal will be equal to the uh, uh, ambient temperature okay so uh, there are uh, refrigeration uh, there are several means of refrigeration. Number one is the uh, the thermoelectric uh, by thermoelectric means, and number two is the uh, vapor compression system. So the vapor compression system involves the uh, refrigerant when you uh, compress the refrigerant. The number three is the gas compression systems involving expansion of the compressed gas to produce work okay And number four is a uh, gas compression system involving throttling or unrestrained
So we have the number 4 that is uh, the number 4 Number four, we have the gas compression system. This gas compression system involves throttling or unrestrained expansion of the compressed gas. Okay. So... Uh, Clean and or unrestrained expansion of of the compressed gas. So as you can see, we have the uh, four uh, means of uh, refrigeration. We have the thermoelectric vapor compression system the gas compression system and the gas uh, compression system involving throttling or understand expansion of the uh, compressed gas so uh, we'll be focus focusing on the vapor compression system so uh, the working fluid for the vapor compression system is usually the uh, refrigerant uh, and we know that there are many types of refrigerants so uh, this refrigerant will be uh, compressed by a compressor so in order to determine the performance of our refrigeration system and we have to evaluate this, we have the uh, coefficient of uh, performance. Coefficient of performance. or this is COP so this COP expresses the uh, effectiveness of our refrigeration system this is dimensionless because uh, our equation of COP is uh, the uh, useful it is the useful refrigerating effect all over um, this is all over all over the net energy supplied from the external sources so supplied from the external sources f for a refrigerator we have uh, as you notice in your household refrigerator there is a compressor at the back so uh, that is the net energy supplied from the external sources so uh, you need electricity to run your compressor so that the whole uh, refrigeration system will flow in a cycle the refrigerant will flow in a cycle so 
So uh, it is uh, for the heat engines you have the thermal efficiency and for air refrigeration or for refrigerator we have the uh, coefficient of performance so this full refrigerating effect will be our Q over the work net or Q over W this is the QL over the work net So you have the uh, high temperature reservoir and it is this refrigerator and you have the uh, the sink which is the lower temperature so uh, it needs work for the cycle of our refrigeration so uh, the work that is being supplied is the work net so uh, our work net will be the QH minus QL okay so we have defined what is the uh, coefficient of performance or the COP is the uh, effectiveness of our refrigeration system so if the COP is uh, COP is uh, higher this uh, your our refrigerator will be efficient if it is the COP is a uh, lower value then it, it is not it is uh, less efficient so we will discuss some uh, unit of measurements for refrigeration we have this uh, one ton of refrigeration or this is one TOR, one ton of refrigeration. So uh, this is uh, we have some equivalents. We have this. This is in English. We have two hundred BTU per minute. 